Here is the story of a man. A story that I hope you'll understand. He went down his path, right on down the normal roads. He had all that he hath, in a suitcase containing toads. He saw dark in his way, each and almost every day. He saw the perfect him and the perfect her. He saw a dirty rat and its dirty fur. Just further down the path he saw trash cans overflowing. And a few steps further he saw a homeless man. Snore. He walked down the path, keeping track of the ground, when he felt the world's wrath, and these bad feelings became profound. This is when he is reserved in his thought. He still ends up at the bench somehow. His throat has become quite taut, and he can't sound out ow. He sat down on the bench trying to close his eyes. He sat there just hurting and letting out heavy sighs. He gathered himself and tried to gather his thought trying to reach the light in the dark. But he started to grow nervous and began to run hot. This is, without a doubt, the devil's mark. So the man continued to clamp his eyelids real tight, trying desperately to hold on to the light, as it tried to slip away into the deep of his mind's dark night, hoping beyond hope he could make everything all right. He had long since forgotten the time on each day, he had merely been going on, trying to make his way. All that he remembered was that the sun was supposed to be his beach. So he sat there with his mind's hands out to reach. But the hands just felt out more dark, and he felt his sanity lose that spark. The man thought that he was doomed destined. He was sure he wouldn't see new. When suddenly, a light glistened, giving off a glow like the moon. The glowing was a door that he hadn't seen before, but it was glowing and radiant, and letting off a kind light gradient. It was made with simple wood, and all in all it looked just good. He decided to take a peek, now why was he suddenly not so meek? He opened the door and started to go through, stepping right on through that strange light's hue. On the other side he was surprised to find a world full of wonder and joy. It seemed the impossible had replaced the grind, and they beheld the world like a new toy. There were large rocks just floating in the air, and it gave off the promise of fun like a fair. So he went forth and began to leap, jumping from rock heap to rock heap. With each jump he noticed a happiness that had formed, that he had previously ignored. After a minute or so of leaping past pretty points, it came time for him to rest his joints. Just as he deeply inhaled that first big breath of air, he saw a particular rock pair that was much farther apart than the ones that had come before, and he began thinking he should make his way back to that door. The stout made him all weary and sad inside, and he thought to himself, this is it. I can't abide. But then he reached on deep down into his heart, and then thought, I can do this. I just need one more good start. So he gathered himself so he wouldn't have to go back to that way. The way things were before the door had come into his day. He started with full force, charging forward with the strength of a horse. Then things started to feel just wrong, and his steps started to feel real long. Inside of his head went loopy, and his motor movements felt droopy. This whole world he had been in started to glisten, and suddenly what he thought was right had been brought to true light. He was not no magic land. He was atop a building at a place where you definitely shouldn't stand. He took a step back and fell on his rump. He had almost just taken the jump. It was his broken mind that almost just made him end the grind. <laughs>